I'm Carly Sherman. And I'm Marissa Justice. And this is Minford Media. SOS, which stands for Students Offering Support, is a leadership group of students who work to spread positivity in our school. Our SOS group celebrated Red Ribbon Week in the month of October. The purpose of Red Ribbon Week is to spread awareness of the harmful effects of drugs. Students had themed dress-up days, held assemblies, attended a local county commissioner's meeting, and created messages about why they choose to be drug-free. I don't do drugs so I can have better opportunities in life. I don't do drugs because I play sports. I say no for my future. I don't do drugs for my family and for my own health benefit. I'm drug free because I know the negative effects and I don't want to be a bad example to those who don't. I don't do drugs because I want to be a role model to my younger siblings. I stay away from drugs to stay in a healthy relationship with my peers and my family. I don't do drugs for my faith. I say no to drugs for my family and my future. I say no to drugs to protect my health. We don't do drugs to stay in healthy friendships. I'm drug free to honor my family. I say no so I can accomplish my dreams and teach others that they can believe in themselves to accomplish theirs. After a dramatic delay, we are finally able to celebrate our 2023 football homecoming court. Let's talk to our senior attendants and homecoming queen to hear about the preparation leading up to the event and how their night went. I'm Meredith Bird and I'm here with homecoming queen Maya Schankweiler. Maya, tell us the most stressful part of homecoming. Um, I'd say the most stressful part of homecoming was the Monday of like the first homecoming week and they called us down for like I thought it was going to be about the pep rally and they ended up just canceling the whole thing altogether. but it ended up working out for the best because the weather was perfect and I had more time to prepare. And tell us your favorite memory. Um, my favorite memory was probably walking out on the field with my escorts and they were just saying my bio and everything and I look out in the crowd and I see everyone supporting me and my mom Patty was out there and her hands were raised and she was just so excited. I'm here with senior attendant Carly Thurman. Carly, tell us the most stressful part of homecoming. I think the most stressful part of homecoming was definitely making signs. Okay, and tell us your favorite memory. Uh, my favorite memory was the day of and getting dressed up. I'm here with senior attendant Callie Miller. Callie, tell us the most stressful part of homecoming. The most stressful part of homecoming was probably the day we found out that homecoming was postponed and we had to reschedule our appointments. And tell me your favorite memory. My favorite memory was um, getting dressed up and just having on the dress. <laughs> Half of my hometown still hanging around, still talking about that one touchdown. They're still wearing red and black, go about cats while the other half of my hometown they all got out. Some went north, some went south. Still looking for a feeling half of the same thing. So stay. Of our prom queens cut their hair Half of them think that it ain't fair The quarterback moved away and never came back Half of my family's happy I left The other half worries I'll just forget Where I came from Same place where they came from Half of my hometown still hanging around Still talking about that one touchdown They're still wearing red and black Go by cats by the other half of my hometown They all got out Some went north, some went south Still looking for a feeling half of the same thing So stay
October, MHS cheerleaders hosted some middle and elementary school students for a cheer play. The girls then got to go on the field Friday, October 13th and show the crowd what they have been learning. Good job, girls. In honor of Halloween, let's take a look at some of the great costumes around the district. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mess. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. He did the monster match. Wow. From my laboratory in the castle east wow. to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. Wow. The ghouls all came from their humble abode wow. to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the match. They did the monster match. The monster it was a graveyard smash. They did the match. It caught on in a flash. They did the match. They did the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, all were digging the sounds. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the match. They played the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. They played the match. It got on in a flash. They played the match. They played the monster match. Out from his coffin, Rex's voice did ring. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the match. It's now the monster match. The monster match. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the match. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the match. It's now the monster match. Now everything's cool, Drax's a part of the band And my Monster Mash is the hit of the land For you, the living, this mash was meant to When you get to my door, tell them what is sent Then you can mash Then you can Monster Mash The Monster Mash And do my graveyard smash It's trivia time! Trivia, it's, it's ball Q&A time! time. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Probably Friday the 13th. Nice. What's your all-time favorite Halloween costume that you dressed up as? Uh, I dressed up as an inflatable Baymax one year. My favorite by far. That's pretty cool. What's your favorite food to eat during the fall? You know, I'm going to say mashed potatoes. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Ooh. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Hubie Halloween with Adam Sandler. Nice. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Is there more than one? Yes. Nightmare Before Christmas, because that's the only one. Hmm. What's your favorite Halloween movie? Um, the Halloween the, with Michael Myers. What's your favorite food to eat during the fall? Turkey. Solid. <laughs> what is your favorite Halloween movie? Scream. Yes, good one. <laughs> what is your all-time favorite Halloween costume that you've dressed up as? Pink ladies. Aww. What is your favorite fictional monster? The Boogeyman. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween movie? Ooh, um, probably anything to do with werewolves. 
I don't have a particular one. I just like werewolves. Just werewolves? All right. Thank you. What are your favorite Halloween costumes you've ever dressed up as? <laughs> when me and Sophia were hydro flasks. <laughs> me and Savannah were grandpas. <laughs> <laughs> what is your all-time favorite Halloween costume you've dressed up as? Probably Mr. Ruby. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> what is your favorite food to eat during fall time? Um, probably, not sure, like stuffing maybe? All right, that's pretty good. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Hocus Pocus. Two. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> What's your favorite Halloween movie? So is this a serious question? Yes. <sighs> Everybody knows when it comes to holiday movies, I don't care. They're the Charlie Brown movie. So the yes. great pumpkin great Charlie pumpkin. Brown is the only one. You're right. Thank what is your favorite fall tradition? Uh, probably like getting leaves in a big old pile and jumping in them. Fun. We also have a special song performance from some of our students and staff. I'm not saying it ain't good. I'm not saying it ain't good. If you see something strange running through your head, who are you going to call? Ghostbuster! Invisible man sleeping in your bed. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> No ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all for this episode. We'll see you next time. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. And action. Breaking news. I'm just joking. It's a lush. What did you say? Positively. No, I said positively. Positivity. Oh. I said positivity. SLS, which is. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried to go like this and I was like. Our school. Okay, you could have kept talking. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to say that? How are you relation? What's your favorite fall tradition? My favorite fall. <laughs> Is this live? <laughs> Please keep that in. I'm recording. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I can't do it. Go.
Uh, cut!